Hello YouTube, this is Gabriel and this is the latest and greatest on my life in the hobby. So any of you that have followed me for a while know that I used to breed and um, purchase a bunch of stuff but then ended up getting out of it because a bunch of changes in lives, had to move and whatnot. But I went back into the shed to see what I do have if and when I'm ready to start trying to breed again. And I have this nice 55 gallon uh, grow out tank down there. I've got a uh, three 10 gallon tanks, a five gallon here. I've got two other 15 gallons in the shed still. I have one breeder box, bunch of a uh, few sponge filters there, more sponge filters here, some pot scrubbies for beneficial bacteria. A UV light, not sure if I'll be using that, but I've got it. Got a few heaters here. I even had a, another brand new sponge filter, submersible pump, a whole bunch of airline, a brand new marine land um, uh, filter, which I totally forgot about, um, feeder, a few um, air pumps and whatnot. But I was just so excited to see all this stuff that I do have for when I am ready. Uh, I don't have to start from scratch and I'm seeing here, I'm saving myself hundreds of dollars. Um, I don't know, but I have seen one of my fishes doesn't appear to be eating. So I'm guessing even as small as she is, she might be pregnant. I don't want to get uh, ahead of myself, so we'll see. But I will clean up that breeder box, uh, breeder net, excuse me, and get it in there if she turns out to be. Anyhow, I'm so excited at the potential here. Um, thank you for watching. You have yourselves a blessed day.